Hi, Outdoor Gear students. Um, I just wanted to go over really quick the model shelter project with you guys. Um, so if you're looking at the rubric, um, I know you guys are able to read the instructions, um, but what you're going to be doing is creating a model shelter. First of all, I want you to know that you are able to create either a model size shelter or a life size shelter. Um, so first, let's kind of just go through what the expectations are. Um, you also have to write a paper for this. So the things that I'm going to go over is what needs to be included in the paper as well. OK, so first of all, you're going to tell me, you know, what kind of shelter you are creating. So when you were listening to that PowerPoint, as you saw, many of the shelters have kind of a name to them. So, you know, the A-frame, the lean-to, a teepee, a snow cave. Now, if you're kind of making one up or kind of modifying one, maybe it's a modified A-frame or a modified lean-to. That's okay. Just call it that. Or if it's something that you're making up um, of your own, give it a name. Or you can just say it's a, you know, a tree shelter or a ground shelter that you came up with. That's totally fine. The next thing that you're going to include in your paper is where is this where this type of shelter could be used. So the desert, the forest, the Arctic. OK, some shelters maybe could be used in multiple um, environments. OK, include that. Let us know. Talk about it. Explain why it could be used in those environments. How did you determine that or what is making you um, select those environments or that environment? All right. Um, the third point, and this is going to be probably one of the most um, <clears throat> the this is going to take up the big bulk, a big bulk of your paper is what materials you would use con to construct this type of shelter. All right. So if I was in the wild, what materials would I use? All right. Would I be using tree branches? Would I be using logs? Would I be using rocks? Would I be using? Um, I don't know, leaves, foliage, whatever it might be, all right? So you're going to include that. Then, see in parentheses, I wrote also what materials you'll be using to represent them in your model. So if I'm making a model shelter, all right, I would say then what that is being represented by in my model shelter. So for example, I have one here. So this student and their model shelter, all right, they use wooden dowels. So in their paper, they might have said, these wooden dowels here, these three big ones, maybe those represented three big trees. Okay, so they would say, uh, to construct this model shelter, you're gonna need three big sturdy trees. And then they'd say, represented by three extra large wooden dowels, All right? And then they're gonna go on and say, um, and then you're going to need five large logs and lay them, you know, talking about that. And then you could say represented by five large wooden dowels. All right. And then maybe later when they're talking about the outside. All right. You're going to cover it with, you know, leaves and grass and foliage. OK. Represented by the moss. All right. The craft moss. So that is what I mean on that third bullet point there, what I'm looking for. So like I said, that's going to take a big bulk of your paper there. The next part, the next bullet point is the steps that are necessary to construct this shelter. This is going to be the next biggest part of your paper, all right, because this should be very detailed. Now in that PowerPoint that I shared with you last week that is also on here again this week, I did a very kind of quick little description on how to do like a tree shelter and how to do like an A-frame. Yours should be even more detailed than that, okay? Um, and then the next part, you know, why did you choose this shelter? All right, what made you pick this shelter to build? And then if you were in a real survival situation, would, you ch would this shelter be something that you could actually build in that situation, why or why not? Um, so in class, when we were talking about tree shelters, I said that, you know, personally, I wouldn't be able to make a tree shelter because there's no way I could climb a tree and build a shelter at the same time. Let's be honest, there's no way I could probably even climb a tree in general. So a tree shelter would not be feasible for me in a survival situation. But 
maybe I would want to make a model shelter because that might be kind of fun to do. All right. So in my paper, I would say, no, in a survival situation, there's no way I could make a tree shelter because I probably can't do it. Right. So I would want to put that in my paper. Now, uh, if I decide I want to make a life size shelter, all right, I still have to do the paper. All right. I still have to submit that. If I make a life size shelter, I need to make sure that when I am constructing it, I'm either taking pictures or videos that I can see you making it. All right. Um, because I need to know that you're not just going on the internet and finding somebody's fort that they posted and submitting it as your own. I have in the weekly agenda, all right, I provided a folder of some former student examples. You can see that some students made a video. Some students made, um, they just took pictures and then kind of made like a Google slide presentation of their work. Either way is fine, all right? Um, so get creative and have fun. I do have some other student examples of, you know, what students have made in the past. You know, I know it's kind of hard to see on here of uh, some different things that they have done. But, you know, and then you will have to take a picture. You make a model and still kind of go through and describe it and do a little presentation to me just, you know, going through these different bullet points as if you were in the class and presenting it to the class, going through your model that way. So if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out and ask them, but go through these bullet points, answer those for your paper, um, build your shelter, whether it's a model size or a life size, and then take a picture of it. If it's a model size, um, or a video of it, and then go through those bullet points um, presenting it to me. All right. Again, if you have any questions, let me know. Hope you're all doing well.